Shalom children of God. Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. This lesson we continue in second sermon of Moses of blessed memory speech to the nation of Israel before his death and the nation of Israel carrying on into the promised land. This lesson we will review the portion Deuteronomy portion of the Bible study will be read Deuteronomy 11 26 to 16 17, Haftorah, Isaiah 54 11 to 55 to 5. The next portion of the Bible study will be Softim Deuteronomy 16 18 to 21 to 9, Haftarah, Isaiah 51 12 to 52 12. In this Bible study, we will be going over Devarim, Deuteronomy, ch 12. I entitled this Bible study, Where His Shechina Dwells. I believe this title suits this Bible study for the main concepts being what is required to be present and not be present in a territory in order for that location to be a worthy place for where His Shechina dwells. Get it? Ha ha ha! I'm surely getting awesomely good at this hinting and joking thing. I believe this Bible study's main concepts are, 1. What is actions are required of us to prepare a place for Hashem's presence to dwell? 2. How can one know the will of God for or in their life? 3. Am I currently doing my best to ensure a long-term stay of Ha-Shem? Sometimes, when one is learning one can not only soak in information, review, research and then inform or share information learned. Sometimes, we come to a place in our learning where we are meant to turn all that active learning into action living. What are some examples of action living? Well, for example let's say I have read books about how to lose weight. I read about certain workouts, place to work out, even bought a workout clothes, now what? Well, many might say, get a gym membership, or join a club group, or look for trails for hiking. And those are all great suggestions, but if I just can get past an injury to get out of the house to go? See when most think about losing weight, they think about the outside, but Hashem blessed be he. Might say. Let's work out that inside first. So how does one work out that inside stuff first? What are we eating or drinking and how much? Why, when where are we consuming what we are consuming? Are we using food to hide? Is one weight problem a crutch, a danger, or a coping mechanism? We could do all the workout routines in the world, in the most awesome modest workout clothes, but if one is also still engaging in unhealthy behaviors or even negative self-talk. No workout is going to fix what one truly even starting wanting to work out for in the first place. After all that work and money spent one might become discouraged and fatigued and start asking, why did we even want to lose weight in the first place? It's been months after they're all. I haven't lost one pound. In fact I gained three. Why? 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 Was it dare I say, love? Or health? Or a friend's wedding? Revenge bod? See, if one has not prepared the proper environment inside themselves, and then expanded that healthy environment out to their surroundings, one could very well planning for failure. Let's prepare the proper space in and out, let's plan for success. But don't stop there. Put that preparation into action. I am ready. Are you ready? Let's get ready Tohu. A good article I found that review a less in the Shechina is clipped below and hyperlinked for those who would like to read more. How the Shechina was exiled. You may have heard of the primordial disaster, a creation narrative first told by Rabbi Yitzhak Luria known as the Ari. The narrative is told in dazzling, spectacular metaphor, fit for a grand eye candy sci-fi movie. But it is all metaphor. Metaphor of a reality no human being could ever imagine. And so it is told in these fabulous terms. Prior to the creation of our chain of worlds, another order was first created, that of Tahu. Tahu was the first example of planned obsolescence, it was designed to fail. Tahu is the source of every type of passion and desire that has the potential to destroy everything in its wake, including itself. It was designed with absolute intensity, so that the energy it contained would be in complete conflict with the vessels its energy entered. And so, Tahu brought about its own destruction. But for a purpose. From that initial catastrophe, 
the highest sparks fell to the lowest places. Think of an explosion, those elements upon which the greatest force is exerted will fly the furthest from the core of the explosion. Which tells us that to find the most powerful remnants of the essence light of Tahu, we need to journey to the lowest of the worlds that explosion generated. Where is the lowest of worlds? You're in it. This is the world of total otherness, a world where there dwell creatures that have no sense of anything else other than this world. Some even sense that they themselves are the masters of this world, or even that nothing else exists other than themselves. It is a material world, things couldn't get more discreetly tangible, more self-absorbed, more otherly, than they are down here. Which is why the Shechina descends within this world, to seek out those most precious sparks, to rescue them from their shells of darkness, to reconnect them to their source above so that they become once again meaningful and divine, all through us, her agents, so that this world and this life of ours plays out as not just another zero-sum game, but as an investment with incomparable returns. Credit Who is Shechina, and what does she want from my life? Exile of the Shechina and Descent of the Soul By Tizvi Freeman Was that not an awesome clip? Honestly, a lot in that article is over my head right now, but I am interested in learning more. I am very happy to have the opportunity to share that article with others. Let's get into Portion of a Portion For the portion of a portion Deuteronomy Devarim read Deuteronomy 11 26-16-17, Hof Torah, Isaiah 54 11-55-5 The next portion of the Bible study will be Softem Deuteronomy 16 18-21-9, Hof Torah, Isaiah 51 12 to 52 12, for those who would like to read ahead. We will continue to increase in our intro Hebrew vocabulary, intro Hebrew terminology, Tanakh, the actual Jewish Bible. That means no New Testament, introduction, and Torah spiritual teaching. I have added to the blog newsletter the blessings before and after reading the Torah. This week's Jewish terminology word is, Hever Kadisha. With a heavy heart we will do our best to review this week's definition of Hever Kadisha, Hevra Kadisha. This word for the week was chosen at random. I was going to ask the children in the home class to choose another word. With the terrible and violate attacks at the Jerusalem synagogue recently and the other hate-filled senseless murders that happened this past week, it didn't seem right. But, then I felt the leading. Almost like. Someone asking me, what about the other deaths that did not make the news? What about the value of life and to live as God has commanded? Are all these troubles in the world because we as humans have forgotten the value of life and to live for God? Have we forgotten our duty to our Creator and fellow man? Hashem save! May the King answer us on the day that we call. The JPS Dictionary of Jewish Words by Joyce Eisenberg and Ellen Skinnick, 2001 Copyright First Edition, defines our Jewish terminology word of the week. Greater than the definition reads, Greater than this is a Hebrew word that literally means, holy society. The Hever Kadisha is a holy society of lay people who prepared a deceased body for burial according to Jewish law. Greater than in ancient times, members of the society were honored volunteers. Although these societies still exist and function in some Jewish communities, it is more likely that the preparation and purification of the body, Tohora, will be done by an employee of a Jewish funeral home. Greater than the preparing of a body is a sacred duty spoken about in the Torah and Tanakh, although the finer details of the duty for this holy society can be found in rabbinical law. Links will be provided for the classes regarding re. These classes be posted here with hyperlink after classes have been uploaded to our social media accounts on YouTube and Facebook and if possible Spotify and Instagram. Greater than greater than Shalom all. Greater than greater than the wonderful fearing. Trying more and more living every day in every way, loving always and forever, and so much. More children of the Greater than greater than Most High God Greater than greater than Hashem Greater than greater than Blessed be His name Greater than greater than Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study Greater than greater than I do pray everyone is having a wonderful day, week, month and Greater than greater than God Greater than greater than Willing Greater than greater than year. Greater than. Greater than may God make this year sweet for each and everyone who loves Him. Greater than. The blog post that is coupled with live Bible studies can be found by clicking here. Moving on to the Bible study section. Blessings of the Torah. Why blessings of the Torah? 
Before we begin the study of the Torah, blessing is done. In saying the blessing we are fulfilling a mitzvah and blessing Hashem, of glory and truth's beautiful Torah. A mitzvah is defined basically as 1. A commandment of the Jewish law. 2. The fulfillment of such a commandment. 3. A worthy deed. I say these blessings every morning during my morning prayers. And, to ensure I am not leading others into do improper practices, I want to ensure I repeat the blessings of Hashem, our merciful Father's Torah just in case others may not have yet had a chance today. Blessings of the Torah Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with His commandments and commanded us to be engrossed in the words of Torah. Hashem our God, please make the words of your Torah pleasant in our mouths and in the mouths of your people Israel. And may we and our descendants, and the descendants of our descendants, and the descendants of your people the house of Israel, all know your name and be students of your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Hashem who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the universe who chose us from among all the peoples and gave us his Torah. Blessed are you, Hashem, giver of the Torah. Blessing before the reading of the Torah. Borchu esadu noi ham voroch. Bless the El Road who is blessed. Congregation and Oli say. Borukadu noi ham voroch lalam vo ed. Blessed be the El Road who is blessed for all eternity. Oli continues. Borukata du noi eloheinu melech ho olum, asherbochar banu mikal ha amin, nozen lanu es toroso. Borukata du noi, nosean ha toro. Blessed are you, El Rodar GD, King of the Universe, who has chosen us from among all the nations and given us his Torah. Blessed are you, El Rod, who gives the Torah. Let us begin with today's lesson. Bible study handbook sources I love to use are linked below as well as on our website. I did take the advice from others and create a page to the website that titled What Marie Likes. I wanted to create a page that had some of my favorite items to share with others. Some of these items or sources I have on this page I have discussed on the live and uploaded Bible studies. I understand that sometimes sources or resources that are authentic and Jewish may be difficult to find. This page aims to help or assist for those seeking some of the gems and glories that might be hidden in and of Judaism. I am not paid to endorse anything on this Bible study of page unless directly noted. I truly do want to help make others journey or study in Torah, a little more easy and enjoyable. Please feel free to message on Facebook or IG with any questions related to this page. I fully admit I am not an expert, but I will do my best to help take some looks around. Oh, oh. that being said enjoy. 1. Portion on portion of Bible study can be found by double-clicking this hyperlink which began at Dovarim read chapter 11 verse 26 and end at 16 verse 17. 2. Biblical text portion of Bible study. This Bible study I have continued to use Metsuda Publications, 2009. I honestly, am liking this version of the Tanakh. The version is hyperlink for those who are interested in reading further. Greater than Dovarim chapter 12 verses 1 through 3. Greater than. Greater than these are the statutes and the laws that you will guard to fulfill in the land that Adonai, God of your forefathers, has given to inherit, all the years that you are alive on the land. You must obliterate all the places where the nations worshipped, whom you are inheriting, their gods, idols, on the high mountains, and on the hills, and under every evergreen tree. You are to break apart their altars, and you are to smash their pillars, and their asherahs are you to burn in fire, and the statues of their gods, idols, are you to cut down, and you are to obliterate their name from that place. Commentary Let's ask some questions to help us prepare to know, identify, recognize so we can then act on this command from our Father in Heaven. What gods were worshipped in Canaan? What temples were on the high places? And what temples were on the hills? What kind of leafy trees was Asher's worshipped? Photo by Art Lawrence Luzon on Pexels.com Photo by Charles Parker on Pexels.com Photo by Helena Jankovu 10 Dovu 00E1 Kovu 00E1 U01 Dovu 00E1 on Pexels.com Photo by Viridiana O Rivera on Pexels.com Photo by Jorge Uraza on Pexels.com Photo by Ethan Adikari Paul on Pexels.com Photo by Pixabay on Pexels.com 
Photo by Ksenia Shibakova on Pexels.com Photo by Kolkatar Kobiwala on Pexels.com Photo by Sonika Agarwal on Pexels.com Let goes over some definitions so we can understand the command to obliterate the names of their gods. Definition of obliterate, transitive verb 1. To remove or destroy completely so as to leave no trace. Synonym, annihilate. 2. To render invisible or unreadable, as by erasing or marking over. 3. To remove completely, a body organ or part, as by surgery, disease, or radiation. Commentary. Nowhere is or has Hashem command us to welcome in or even entertain this made into gods and worship by others. This includes that choice perverse lifestyles of others that are acting out the very gods that they worship. In fact to confirm we are not to act out the idol worship, we read the following verses. Greater than Devarim chapter 12 verses 4 through 7. Greater than. Greater than do not act this way too, before, Adonai, your God. Rather at the place that Adonai, your God, chooses from all your tribes to set his presence, have his Shechina dwell, there, at the abode of his Shechina, will you seek his presence and come there. You are to bring there your burnt offerings and your sacred offerings, and your tithes and the elevation of your hands, hand offerings, and your pledges, and your donations, and the firstborn of your cattle and your flocks. Commentary Praise of Hashem Will now be centralized in a specific location where His Spirit resides. A place that Hashem has approved. And to ensure there is no confusion on how one is to care for and protect the temple where Hashem's allowing His presence resides, God informs us we are to also never destroy a temple or objects that are used in a temple that have been for service. Never bring perverse or unconsecrated items into a temple for use in attempting to worship Hashem. Never bring objects of idolatry into a temple, to include lewd acts or mindsets or speech into a house of worship. Definition of lewd, adjective. 1. Preoccupied with sex and sexual desire, lustful. 2. Obscene, indecent. 3. Wicked. A link is provided for previous Bible studies where we went over the offerings stated in Leviticus chapter 27 verse 32 and chapter 14 verses 22 through 27. For a brief and basic recap or review basically, offerings are done and to be done in an approval Torah commanded synagogue or altar of each tribe that has, a Kohen, his Levite, their elders, their princes, and their leaders of the tribes down to the tens. In verse 8 though reviews a new condition on the private tribal altars of offering. No more private altars for offerings where gatherings are supposed to be for the three appointed times. As we read here. Greater than Devarim chapter 12 verse 8. Greater than you are to eat there before Adonai, your God, and you will be happy with the sum of your handiwork, you and, the members of, your households, as Adonai, your God, has blessed you. You may not do everything we do here today, each what is upright in his eyes, before him. Commentary from many state different reason or possible reasons for this command. But, they all basically review the guidance from Hashem for His people to be gathered together in praise and worship of Him as an importance of community and unity. Greater than Devarim chapter 12 verses 9 through 16. Greater than. Greater than for you will not have come as yet to the peace, the place of tranquility, and to the territory that Adonai, your God, is giving you. When you cross the Yardin and settle in the land that Adonai, your God, is apportioning to you, and he has granted you peace from all your enemies around, and you will live secure. Greater than. Greater than let it be that the place where Adonai, your God, chooses to place his presence, Shechina, therein, it is there you shall bring all that I am commanding you, your burnt offerings and your sacred offerings, your tithes and your hand offerings, and your choice promissory offerings that you pledge to, before, Adonai. Greater than. Greater than you are to rejoice in the presence of Adonai, your God, you and your sons and your daughters, your male slaves and your female slaves, and the Levite who is in your cities, for he has no portion or territory with you. Greater than. Greater than take heed, lest you offer up your burnt offerings anywhere you envision as proper. Solely in the place that Adonai chooses within one of your tribes, there are you to offer up your burnt offerings, and there are you to do everything that I am commanding you. Greater than. Greater than except with the fullness of your appetite you may slaughter and eat meat in accord with the blessing of Adonai, your God, that he has given you in all your cities. The ritually unclean and the clean will eat it like the meat of the deer and the gazelle. Greater than. 
Greater than however, you may not eat the blood, on the earth are you to spill it like water. Commentary In a world that wants us divided and lonely, Hashem is commanding us to celebrate with Him, our priest, rabbis and synagogue workers, but also our employees, slaves. Everyone. Enjoy. Taste the goodness of serving that only living God. Look how much He adores us. Celebrate. Live. All within prescribe and approved manner. Let's be honest we all need directions and laws, stop. God tells us how we are to continue to ensure we are active in our responsibility to guard Torah and behavioral guidances. Many of us need to be proper informed how to prepare food down to what is the proper way to conduct ourselves in a life that is in agreement with service to Torah and Hashem. I for one am grateful for God's direction as my life. Not only in my opinion has God shown His repeated and undying love for me, but He has shown me how to be a better person and child to Him. He is the good Father who teaches, guides, instructs and reprimands just to name a few. I may not understand everything us why certain things have to happen, but I rather have my life with Him than without. What is contaminated, food or person or place? Greater than in anyone who eats from its carcass, or anyone who carries part of that carcass, the same law applies even if one person carries the carcass while outside sacred grounds and his partner is within sacred grounds. Greater than. Greater than you cannot argue that instead of repeating the words, a second time, the Torah need only have written the pronoun, it, different measurements are applied to what is called eating, and what is called carrying, therefore the noun its carcass, had to be repeated. Greater than, compare Rashi 11, 43, so that you have become ritually contaminated by them. The word has the letter after the letter missing. Greater than. Greater than we find more such examples in the Torah, as in Genesis 20, 6, from sinning against me, or Numbers 10, 13, instead of, as well as Deuteronomy 11, 12, instead of. Our author cites similar examples also from the books of the prophets. Ed. Greater than. Greater than Chizkani. Greater than Leviticus 11:40. Greater than Chizkani. Translated and annotated by Eliyahu Monk Diseases from consuming contaminated food or drink I wanted to paste a list here, but there are for too many. The blog is hyperlinked for those who would like to take a look. Uck! And yuck! From clicking on a few of the links listing on the many a types of diseases that can God forbid happen to those who take in contaminated food, I am very grateful for the guidance from God to not eat contaminated foods. Greater than chapter 12 Dovarim verses 17 through 19. Greater than. Greater than you are not permitted to eat in your cities the tithe of your grain and your wine and your olive oil, and the firstborn of your cattle and your flocks, and all your pledges that you pledge, and your donations and the teruma separation of your hand offerings. Greater than. Greater than rather, before Adonai, your God, are you to eat it, in the place that Adonai, your God, chooses, you and your son and your daughter, and your male slave and your female slave, and the Levite in your cities, and you will be happy in the presence of Adonai, your God, with the sum of your handiwork. Watch yourself, lest you forsake the Levite, all your years on your land. This is fun when a lesson can be coupled with a previous Jewish terminology word of the week. Ready. Set. Go. Does anyone remember what authority approves an item for kosher and enabled an item to be labeled with a hexer symbol confirming the kosher status? What is a mashjayak? Mashjayak, mashjayak, is Hebrew for supervisor. A mashjayak can refer to either a, the agent of a kosher supervising organization, who ensures that food is produced according to the kosher requirements, or b, the rabbi who is responsible for the performance and well-being of yeshiva students. This week's Jewish terminology word is, Heksher what I wonderful Jewish terminology word for the week. Something we all have in common at some basic level, food and the want or need to eat. And the desire to like what we eat. And to have the substance of what we chose to intake be at some level beneficial to one's self. Well, in Orthodox Judaism of course food and the nutriment value of the food is taken another step deeper into the spiritual realm. What does a kosher supervisor do? A mashjayak may supervise a restaurant, catering facility, factory or even several factories. The mashjayak ensures that everything purported to be kosher is indeed kosher. If the food being produced will be certified as kosher for Passover, the mashjayak will be checking for that as well. In some facilities, the mashjayak's focus may be on checking labels on everything entering a plant. 
Often, the mashjaik also checks eggs to ensure that they have no blood spots, and leafy greens to ensure that they are bug-free. Definition of Diaspora Noun The dispersion of the Jews among the Gentiles after the captivity. Any similar dispersion. A group so dispersed, especially Jews outside of the land of Israel. Greater than Devarim ch 12 verses 20 through 27. Greater than when Adonai, your God, expands your border as he promised you, and you say, I would like to eat meat because you have an appetite to eat meat, to the full extent of your appetite eat meat. When the place is distant from you that Adonai, your God, chooses to set his presence, Shechina, there, you may slaughter some of your cattle or your flocks that Adonai gave you, as I have commanded you, and you will eat in your cities with all your appetite. Greater than only, as the, meat of the, deer and the gazelle may be eaten, so may you eat it, the ritually unclean and the clean together may eat it. Only, exercise strength in not eating, in order not to eat, the blood, for the blood is the life, and do not eat the spirit with the meat. Greater than do not eat it, unto the earth are you to spill it like water. Greater than do not eat it, so that you may enjoy beneficence, and your children after you, when you do the upright, proper, in Adonai's eyes. However, your sacred offerings, tithes, that you will have, and your pledges, you are to bring when you come to the place that Adonai chooses. Greater than you are to execute your burnt offerings, the meat and the blood, on the altar of Adonai, your God, and the blood of your peace, sacred offerings will be poured on the altar of Adonai, your God, then you will eat the meat. Greater than Devarim chapter 12 verses 28-31 Greater than Greater than preserve and heed, obey, all these words that I am commanding you, in order that you have it good in your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and that which is upright, correct and proper before, in the eyes of Adonai, your God. Greater than Greater than when Adonai, your God, will have eliminated the nations whom you are coming there to inherit, from before you, and you inherit them and dwell in their land, look out for yourself, lest you are torn apart along with them, after they have been annihilated before you, and lest you inquire about their gods, idols, saying, How did these nations worship their gods, let me do so, too. Greater than Greater than do not do so too, before, Adonai, your God, because whatever is abominated by. Greater than distance before, God, what he hates, they have done for their gods, idols, for even their sons and their daughters do they burn in fire to their gods, idols. Commentary Merciful loving God, never wanted for us to be like those who serve lesser or others or make up gods. We have always and be told repeatedly, don't adopt pagan rituals of the heathens. Sadly, several who claim to love Torah and Hashem state it's loving to be just like the heathens. Do they tempters know that many cannot stand to close flame of studying as an interest to worship pagan gods? For example, we should never listen to pagan worship music of their gods, nor learn their chants or the mantras of their gods or God's name. Why? Because, this are forms of witchcraft and invoke spells. I'll go more in detail during the recording of this Bible study, but I encourage others. If anyone out there has a memory brought to their mind of perhaps engaging in idol or pagan worship, repent, make shiva, and don't do as the heathens do ever again. Greater than amen and amen, hashtag thank you. Ha! Shem. Greater than. Greater than congratulations. You have made through another Bible study. Sound some praise and joy to our Father who is in heaven. Greater than. Greater than glory to the one and only living God. Ha! Shem. I pray that everyone, everywhere, repents and returns to the only one who can save Ha! Shem. The true and only living God. Receive Torah. Be back in the covenant of God. Be at the Har sign I say yes and be saved. The choice is yours. Amen and Amen. In conclusion. I am left with the same thoughts that I have had since season 1. Everyone has a choice. And everything has a choice. Accept the Torah, turn from evil and do good, or even chose this day whom one shall serve. In any case, some will chose the life in Torah with Hashem. And, sadly some will chose the sword. Oa Amen and Oa Amen. Greater than blessings after reading the Torah. Greater than. Greater than Baruch Atah Adu Noi Eloheinu Melech Ho Olum. Asher Nozen Lanu Toras Eams, Jiye Olum Nota Bisakainu. Borukata Du Noi, Nosean Ha Toro. 
Greater than translation. Greater than blessed are you, El wrote our God, King of the universe, who has given us the Torah of truth and planted eternal life within us. Blessed are you El Rod, who gives the Torah. Greater than. Greater than credit learn the Torah blessings for an Aliyah. Biblical portion of Bible study complete. Friendly reminder. Half Tara this portion is. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 11 THRU chapter 55 verse 5. Unhappy, storm tossed one, uncomforted. I will lay carbuncles as your building stones. And make your foundations of sapphires. I will make your battlements of rubies. Your gates of precious stones. The whole encircling wall of gems. And all your children shall be disciples of the Lord. And great shall be the happiness of your children. You shall be established through righteousness. You shall be safe from oppression. And shall have no fear. From ruin, and it shall not come near you. Surely no harm can be done. Without my consent. Whoever would harm you. Shall fall because of you. It is I who created the smith. To fan the charcoal fire. And produce the tools for his work. So it is I who create. The instruments of havoc. No weapon formed against you. Shall succeed. And every tongue that contends with you at law. You shall defeat. Such is the lot of the servants of the Lord. Such their triumph through me. Declares the Lord. Chapter 55 Ho, all who are thirsty. Come for water. Even if you have no money. Come, buy food and eat. Buy food without money. Wine and milk without cost. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? Your earnings for what does not satisfy? Give heed to me. And you shall eat choice food. And enjoy the richest viands. Incline your ear and come to me. Hearken, and you shall be revived. And I will make with you an everlasting covenant. The enduring loyalty promised to David. A prince and commander of peoples. So you shall summon a nation you did not know. And a nation that did not know you. Shall come running to you, eh? For the sake of the Lord your God. The Holy One of Israel who has glorified you. Sepharia.org Today's Bible study is complete. Thank you merciful HaShem, for allowing us to meet this day. Closing comment, blessings after reading the Torah, and priestly blessing and all sources are hyperlinked. Note, all sources are hyperlinked to allow more translatable version and podcast. I pray others got something out of this portion, Tanakh Bible study, and spiritual Torah teaching. Until next time, let us close with the priestly blessing. And HaShem our God spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, Yuveri Checha Adonai Vayishmiricha. Yar Adonai Panavaleka Vichanika. Yesa Adonai Panavaleka Vyasam Lecha Shalom. The LD bless you and keep you. The LD make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The LD lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In Hashem and Hashem's alone mighty glorious name. Forever and ever. Amen and Amen. Cover art created by Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, Photos, Apps, Internet Pull or Facebook Page. Credits are noted on art and or hyperlinked for credit. Click and follow for shorts. For those that are new to this Bible study, welcome. The following is a brief review of this Bible study. 1. This blog post will have the resources and sources links for the Season 5 Bible Studies. 2. All books used and readings from During Live Bible Study can be found on our website, Marie Speaks God's Grace. Live in the Season 5 portion of the website. 3. After live Bible studies have completed, I will upload to Rumble and post link in this blog. How we conduct Bible studies here. We believe in one and only one God. Hashem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We do not and will not pray in any other's name or praise any other, but Ha. Shem. Exodus chapter 20, 2-14. God spoke all these words, saying, I the Lord am your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, 
the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image or any likeness of what is in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I the Lord your God am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me. But showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. We believe God has called each of us to search matters out. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. And the glory of a king to plumb a matter. Like the heavens in their height, like the earth in its depth, is the mind of kings, unfathomable. Proverbs 25 2-3 this is one reason why here at Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, we review several historical references and resources, of which we provide links and or screenshots for others to study at their leisure. We have been directed by God Wonderful and Almighty, to go book by book, verse by verse, sharing His Torah and Tanakh. We believe as directed by God our Heavenly Father, learning and growing in Torah and Tanakh leads to understanding and wisdom. This shall only be achieved in reading, studying, and sharing His Word for ourselves, not relying on man. Learning, growing, and studying with our LD is to be done with others that are like-minded, but more so during our personal time. The blogs are written to assist those just beginning to study the Bible as a starting point. The live or recorded Bible studies are to cover and release opportunities and guidance, but ultimately is one's own personal responsibility to rule, govern, and be purposeful in their relationship with God. Proverbs 22, 4-6 The effect of humility is fear of the Lord. Wealth, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the crooked. He who values his life will keep far from them. Train the lad in the way he ought to go. He will not swerve from it even in old age. Ezekiel 18, 20-22 The person who sins, he alone shall die. A child shall not share the burden of a parent's guilt, nor shall a parent share the burden of a child's guilt, the righteousness of the righteous shall be accounted to him alone, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be accounted to him alone. Moreover, if the wicked one repents of all the sins that he committed and keeps all my laws and does what is just and right, he shall live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions he committed shall be remembered against him, because of the righteousness he has practiced, he shall live. Is it my desire that a wicked person shall die? Says the LD God. It is rather that he shall turn back from his ways and live. May Hashem, blessed be he continue to bless us all and may we all be forever written in the book of life. Amen and Amen. A little about me, I love Hashem, Torah, and Tanakh. I am not perfect. If we meet, we talking about Torah, drinking tea or coffee, and what books are out about Hashem and maybe over some kosher pizza, maybe over some kosher steak, make over super sweet kosher cake. Have a fun laugh about you guess it. Torah. Or on a bike, or during a hike, or while riding on a train in the rain as the rain falls nicely on the plane in Spain, but either way, we'll be talking about Torah. What is import to me colon dot 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 a relationship with our father Hashem our merciful creator, savior, and wise king. Live in Torah, Live with family and community of tribe. My thoughts, we may not be perfect, but we study, we learn, we laugh, and we grow. We try try and have the courage to try again. My goals, to learn and grow and share love of Torah and Hashem with others who are willing or open to hearing. I have been using the Minds.com account and Rumble, Live Bible Study Video Post, Rumble As main accounts. Lastly, never lose faith. Let's continue to fear and love Hashem like A and pray. Pray for our nation, enemies, fellows, and many lost sons and daughters of Torah to return to Hashem, bless be he forever and ever, amen. Ha! Shem is on the move. Blessings and prayers. Marie. Let us begin. Link to Rumble Live Bible Study. Link to previous Bible study. Audio podcast blog version of Bible study. Audio of blog. Link to YouTube Live Link Bible Study. All right. So I hope others got something out of this Bible study. I hope 
you enjoyed your time learning more about Hashem and gaining in Torah. And I pray everyone has a wonderful, beautiful day. So till next time, may God keep you. May God bless you. May we all be forever written in the book of life.